Hey guys, it's Mark Anderson here of LateNightMMA.com. Thanks for checking out another video. Go and break down the rest of the prelims for this UFC on FX fight card going down this Friday night. And the first fight going to uh, be a tough one. I got Darren Ayanama. Hopefully I didn't butcher that one too much. Taking on Phil Harris. And Darren is 7-3 and three in his MMA career. Um, he made his UFC debut back in November for the UFC on Fox card. Got that big win. Now, Harris is 21-9. and nine. He's won five fights in a row. And out of the uh, 21 wins, 13 have been by submission. Um, so we know where he wants to take this game and uh, how he wants to win. But I'm going with Darren here. He faced a lot better competition in his career. He's fought over in Dream. He's a Strike Force fighter, veteran of Strike Force three fights. I think he went three and zero in Strike Force. Now one and zero in the UFC. So I'm going to take Darren in this spot. Next fight up is Bart Palazuski, WEC vet, taking on Diego Nunes. And Bart is 36 and 15, coming off his first loss in the UFC. That was over in Japan, UFC 144. Um, he's a seven-time vet in the WEC, like I mentioned, and he won knockout of the night back at WEC 37 against Alex Karalexis. Meanwhile, Diego Nunes is 17-3 and three, um, in his career. He's 5-1 and one in the WEC, and he's 2-2 two and two in the UFC. Um, at UFC 125, he got a win over former champ Mike Brown. He also beat Manny Gamburian at UFC 141. Um, back in April. He also, his last fight was a decision loss to Dennis Seaver. No shame in that at all. So I'm going to go with Diego Nunes in this one. Very tough fight to handicap though. It could go either way, but I'm going to uh, take Diego Nunes right here. Okay guys, next fight up. This will be the third fight on the prelim card. Um, Jacob Balkman versus Shane Roller. And this is going to be a uh, very interesting matchup. Both are Division one wrestlers, so it's going to be tough to handicap. A lot of times when you get two wrestlers, though, you know where it ends up, right? On its feet. Um, and Shane Roller has shown some power. But anyways, let's just talk about Jacob here. Um, lost to Paul Sass at UFC 146. And before that, he had a five-fight win streak in the UFC. Um, he's 14-3 and three in his MMA career, and he's 5-3 and three in the UFC. Now, Shane Roller was on the verge of being fired by the UFC. He lost three fights in a row. Usually, if you lose three fights, you're pretty much done. But they stuck with him, and uh, he pulled out a huge win against John Alisio at UFC 148 in Vegas. Roller is 11-6 and six in his MMA career. This fight was also moved from UFC 151, so uh, it's one of those fights that got canceled off UFC 151 and moved here. Um, not sure how that will affect the fighters, but like I said, both fighters are NCAA Division I wrestlers. And I'm going to go with uh, Roller to keep the newfound momentum going. Oh yeah, Dennis Hallman versus Thiago Taveras. Everyone knows Dennis Hallman as a mixed martial arts veteran, but another thing a lot of fans know him for is his nice shorts. And uh, that got a lot of controversy with Dana White a few events back. And uh, funny shit, funny shit. But anyways, uh, Holman's 15, or sorry, 51 MMA victories, 14 losses, and one no contest. He's coming off a win at UFC 141 against John McDessie, and he's won three of his last four fights. Thiago Taveras has done the same thing. He's won three out of his last four fights, so this is going to be a very interesting matchup. You've got guys coming in that have both done very well. Um, Taveras... Big wins over Sam Stout and Spencer Fisher. So, uh, you know, that's a tough one. I really hadn't made a pick right yet, but since I'm on the spot and reading that to remind me about Stout and Spencer Fisher, I'm going to take them. So I'm going to take Thiago Taveras right here. Okay, guys, the uh, co-main event, if you will, for the prelim card, Michael Johnson versus Danny Castillo. I've been back and forth on this one, too. You know, it's a tough call. Um, Michaels is coming off a uh, 11-6 record, back-to-back -back wins over Shane Roller and Tony Ferguson. Then you got Danny Castillo, he's been on a roll as well for sure, um, winning three fights in a row and improving to 14-4. and four. 
I was going to go with uh, Danny Castillo. I have Danny Castillo written down here in my notes. But I'm going to change it up. I think uh, Michael Johnson gets this one. Shane Roller, Tony Ferguson, no jokes. Big wins. And uh, I'm going to go for him to keep it going here. Well, let's take Michael Johnson. Okay, the main event, if you will, for the prelim card is Jeremy Stevens versus Eves Edwards. The pressure is on for uh, Jeremy Stevens here. He's lost two fights in a row. With that being said, he lost to uh, Cowboy Cerrone, and he also lost to uh, Anthony Pettis. So, you know, two really, really tough guys. Eves Edwards, on the other hand, he's 41-18. and 18. He's coming off a loss at the Ultimate Fighter finale last year. And <clears throat> MMA math here will tell you that Edwards got knocked out by Sam Stout. And Jeremy Stevens beat Sam Stout by decision. So using MMA math, you would have to go with uh, uh, Jeremy Stevens in this spot. And I think at the stages of these guys' careers... You know, I think Eves Edwards is not as good of a fighter anymore. So I'm going to go with uh, Jeremy Stevens here to win by devastating knockout. So those are my uh, preliminary predictions. Just, just let me recap here quickly who I got. I am going to be going with uh, Darren in the opener. Then we'll take Diego Nunes. We'll take uh, Shane Roller. We'll take Thiago Tavares. We'll change the pick that I was going to take Danny Castillo. I'm scratching that off. I'm going with Michael Johnson now. And finally, I'm going with Jeremy Stevens to win by Brutal KO. So, thanks for checking out my video. And uh, be sure to hit me up on Twitter. It's Radio MMA. And check out the website, www.LateNightMMA.com.